Hello, welcome to our classroom. Now, in our classroom today, we want to do something very, very simple, quickly. We want to show that the whole of this complex expression in logarithmic form is going to boil down to log x. That the whole of this is going to simplify down to, log, uh, to the logarithm of x. That the question says, show that the whole of this equal to, log, uh, to log x. This is set TV and you are highly welcome. Don't you go nowhere. Sit down and relax. We will be right back. Okay, welcome back. Now, let us quickly begin. How do we do this? Now, if we can simplify the whole of this to such an extent that it gives us log x, then that's the end of the problem. Now, we come down to the very rudiments, the simplest unit of the problem, that is this. Always remember that a to the minus 1 is equal to 1 over a. Can I apply that to this? That is 1 minus x squared r raised to the minus 1 will simply be 1 all over the whole of this. In other words, 1 minus x squared raised to the power negative 1 would simply be equal to 1 all over 1 minus x squared. Correct? That's it. So, if we know that, we can simply say um, this is going to now be equal to logarithm then I'm opening a little bracket there then I'm having 1 minus 1 minus then this is what I'm talking about this simply becomes 1 all over 1 minus x squared now raised to the power negative 1 and raised to the power negative 1 over 2 okay what do we do next we are going to take LCM now, when we take LCM, this is going to multiply 1. So, this becomes equal to the logarithm uh -huh, of 1 minus. Then, what do we have here? If we take LCM here, we simply have 1 minus x squared minus this 1. Now, divided by this, by 1 minus x squared. And every other thing remains the same, 1 over 2. Perfect. Hey, see something here? 1 will subtract 1 to fall out. So 1 minus 1, this 1 cancels this 1. So what do I have up here now? Simply becomes negative x squared. So, wow. so this becomes equal to logarithm. Then I'm opening a bracket. 1 minus. I have negative x squared. That is what is on the... Uh, in the numerator and then divided by 1 minus x squared all raised to the power negative 1 and then what do we have here negative 1 over 2 remember our destination is to get log x that's what the question says simplify the whole of this thing so that your answer simply becomes log x perfect so we move on this is equal to now, this negative 1 here will cause this expression to turn, to invert. We say to invert. Uh -huh. So, this simply becomes equal to logarithm. And then I'm having 1 minus. Because of the power here, negative 1, that is the laws of negative exponents, the whole of this will turn. So, I simply have 1 minus x squared divided by negative x squared. And then I'm now having negative 1 over 2. This one here. This one we have taken it into consideration. Perfect. So I'm going to clean up so that we can quickly 
round up our solution and now notice something notice that negative this is a negative and this is a negative minus and minus will change to a plus so this simply becomes equal to we have logarithm and then we open a bracket minus minus changes to a plus one plus one minus x squared divided by x squared or is the power negative 1 over 2. Beautiful. And then, we now take LCM here. Now when you take LCM there, this x squared will multiply 1 and then we now have a common denominator for all of them. So we simply have logarithm, we open a bracket, x squared plus 1 minus x squared, now divided by x squared, all raised to the power, minus 1 over 2. Voila. And we keep moving on. <laughs> okay, now notice that this x squared will cancel that x squared. And what do we now have? We simply have logarithm of 1 all over x squared and then all raised to the power negative 1 over 2. Voila. <laughs> now <laughs> we proceed. I can take this off. Okay, so Notice something that this is equal to logarithm and then we have x. 1 over x squared can be written as x to the minus 2. You get it? Okay. Then we now have the whole of these minus 1 over 2. And this becomes equal to from the third law of indices. This negative 2 can multiply negative half. So what do we then have? This simply becomes logarithm of x. Negative 2 multiplying that, we simply have negative 2 multiplied by negative 1 over 2. Beautiful. <laughs> and then, 2 cancels to negative and negative changes to plus. So my final answer simply becomes, um, we simply have log x to the power 1. And of course, log x to the power 1, this will simply give me log x. And we can now cure ED, which is what we are asked to show. <laughs> so please, accept TV, our mission is simple, to add something to that which you already know. And of course, our vision is to move the classroom right into your bedroom. Just in case you have not subscribed, do well to subscribe right now. Do have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.